So today they updated the raids to beta loot. And what they did is they updated the Defender and the Grazi Rapier. So currently now the Defender has 30 stab attack, 29 slash attack, and 28 crush attack with still 8 strength bonus. So they increased the attack bonus by a little bit but kept the strength the same. So the Defender is best used with a stab weapon and that makes the Rapier even better. But they also buffed the Rapier. It used to have 90 stab attack and now it has 94 and it used to have 86 strength bonus now it has 89. So what I'm going to be doing today is trying this out on Vorkath, seeing if it's actually better than a blowpipe. And it took me a second to think about this, because I tried to wear the Solve Amulet, and once again, you still can't wear the Solve Amulet unless you kill Tarn, which they don't make it easy to get there. But I thought of another idea. There's one other way to get the max hit at Vorkath, and that's if you get a task and you wear full bandos. So what I'm going to try to do now is either get a Blue Dragon task or a Vorkath task. Before I get that Slayer test, there is just one thing I want to try. First of all, the absolute max hit on players. Let's see what that would be. 51, so that's the highest you can hit on players. Now let's put the Slayer helmet on and let's see how high you can hit on tasks. The max hit used to be 57 on tasks. Let's see what it is now. 58, so that kind of makes sense. Three more strength bonus, one more max hit. So 58 will be the max that will be hitting on Vorkath with this weapon. So now it's time to get a Slayer test. The way I'm going to be doing that is use Contact NPC on the Lunar Spellbook. And I'm going to contact Duradel for all my tasks. If I don't like the task, the way I'm going to cancel it is just use the Birthort Master. And fill up all these slots with blocks first so I don't get them. And then eventually, hopefully I get Blue Dragons. One thing I probably should do is unlock Like a Boss. I think you could probably get Vorkath because it's a boss. So let me unlock that now. So that took a minute, but finally we got 150 blue dragons. Nice. So if you want to test out Vorkath on the beta servers yourself, the best way to do it is to get a max cape from the chest at Clan Wars, click on Teleports, go to POH, and then click on Relica. And once you get in Relica, the best thing to do is to claim the Boots of the Sea, which allow you to teleport here a lot faster. And the place you teleport to is right here in the center of the village. So hopefully the BGS pulls through and I get some really high specs. If not, we get to see if this Grazi Rapier hits pretty accurate through high defense. So now that I set my quick prayers, I think I'm ready to start the kill. Oh my god, you gotta be kidding me. So I ended up teleporting out of that Vorkath kill, because for one, the BGS hit a zero, and the attack options were set to where I had to right click. I don't know why that was the default, but they should really change that. And whoever designed this house, come on now, learn how to design a house. So let's try this again. Now we can left click Vorkath. You definitely don't want to have to be right clicking it. Oh, 78 off the bat. Followed by a 38. This should be a good kill. Pretty sure we can do the entire kill on walk, including the like Wook's walk method thing you can do with the rapier. Let's see if we can pull this off. We want to avoid that. It's a lot easier to do the walk thing in my opinion when you're using melee. So far this is a really good kill, but now I'm hitting zeros for whatever reason. Oh, another 57, nice. Sort of surprised how many zeros I'm hitting right now. Okay, first kill with the rapier. What will the time be? A minute and 56, so that's not a great kill, hit a lot of zeros. I'm really surprised I hit that many zeros because my BGS hit really good on this kill. But maybe just bad RNG for the Rapier, I guess. 74, this should be a pretty good kill once again. Last kill I forgot to use my DDS, this time I actually am going to remember to use it. Not so big, but oh well. This should be a pretty decent kill right here. Aw. And the time is, should be a little bit better than the last time. A minute 52, not bad. Somehow I didn't even realize I noticed the color was a little different, but this isn't even the max rejuvenation pool. I don't know why they wouldn't put the max one in the house, but now I have to go to Clan Wars every time I want to reset my stats and my spec and everything like that. Okay, this time we got a lot smaller hits with the BGS. And so far it doesn't even seem to matter what defense level this thing is. So this was just supposed to be a really quick video. I just wanted to test out the buff rapier at Vorkath. And basically what happened is I just died because I misclicked. But so far this rapier doesn't seem too overpowered. It's not better than darts. And it's barely even better than a hosta from what I can see. 
but it's definitely best in slot. So I think the updates for the rapier is kind of in the right direction. Hopefully the weapon's like 200 mil and it's not really cheap. So it doesn't devalue the tent whip or anything like that. And what doesn't make sense to me is how is the rapier going to affect staking? And are you going to need a rapier to stake or is everyone just going to box from now on? Personally, when I staked, I actually enjoyed boxing a lot more and it seems actually a little bit more fair. Plus you don't have to spend the money on a tentacle. So I'm not actually too upset with that. So I sort of want to release this video pretty soon because later today I'm going to be releasing a new progress video and I made a lot of progress on my account since the last video. So I didn't expect to release the progress video so soon but a lot of crazy things have been happening and I have a lot of crazy clips. So later tonight make sure you watch that progress video, it's definitely one of my better ones. Also make sure you check out Nocturnal RSCC, a lot of cool people, we PVM, we socialize, come on in and check it out. So I hope to see you guys later tonight. I'm also going to be releasing the name of the 1 mil winner from the previous video. So make sure you check it out. Peace out guys.